Today, I will be getting the Platinum Trophy for Spider-Man Miles Morales. You know, with Spider-Man 2 being less than a month away, we had to get this plat. The game is super short, so to make it a bit of a challenge, we will be playing through on spectacular difficulty. And without any hesitation, we kick things off with the Rhino breaking out of police custody, because the NYPD are about as useful as a knitted condom. But not all is bad, because we can get our first trophy pretty much straight away by smashing 15 breaks objects while steering rhino through the mall hey like a rhino in a china shop there we go completing this section also gets us our first story related trophy rhino ends up beating up pete and with him out of commission it's all up to us luckily miles has discovered some new bioelectric venom powers that we can use to defeat rhino and of course now is when the dudes with the guns decide to rock up anyway whilst they detain the russian shaquille o'neal we meet simon krieger who looks like he could be the long lost brother of eddie brock from the sam raimi films and looks aren't all they have in common as they are both massive douchebags anyway he is clearly the bad guy. But moving on, we have a chat with Pete, who tells us that he's gonna bugger off to Europe for a while, leaving the city's protection in our hands. But before he goes, he gives us a present, being the great responsibility suit. Because remember guys, with great power comes great big booty bitches. Well, there we go, a gift from Pete. Very nice. Next, we hear that there is some shit going down at the Roxxon Plaza, which is Megadouche's company. Pretty much, they've created a new clean energy source called New Form, which is totally safe and definitely won't kill everyone in the city. Upon arrival, we get ambushed by a gang called the Underground, and after totally destroying all of them... What the fuck? Man, and look at my arm, bro. We managed to take out all the goons, and of course, again, now the guys with the guns decide to rock up. Honestly, their timing is actually quite impressive, and I can't wait until the game forces me to beat them all to a bloody pulp. We then return home where we have a nice little family Christmas dinner, where we meet Finn, who is Miles' old best friend. And it's clear the bro wants to Venom smash, but she's like a sister to him, and they haven't talked in like eight months. It's, it's all a bit confusing. Anyway, after this, we we helped out our uncle A.A. Ron because someone has been messing around with the train tracks. And of course, it's the underground. So we had to beat them all up and we might have taken things a bit too far because we really messed up this one guy. What the fuck is up with this guy? What have I done to him? It's like he's listening to some Travis Scott or something. What the fuck? We were able to get the trains back on the tracks, but that didn't sit well with the underground because they decided to put bombs on the tracks. So we had to go deal with that. And not gonna lie, I kind of got messed up in this section. Oh, my back. But eventually we were able to stop the active terrorist attack, which netted us a trophy. The Harlem Express. There we go. We fixed the subways. We met up with Uncle A.A. Ron, who not only thanks us, but also drops a bit of a bomb on us. Did I get the name right? How did you? Oh shit, not good. Next, we decided to upgrade our suit by purchasing our first suit mod, which got us another trophy. Hey, mod that suit. There we go. Following this, we ended up attending Miles' mum's campaign rally, which brings back some tough memories for him because, you know, can an event and all. And it honestly seems that there is a cosmic attraction between public gatherings and masked gangs because this time around, the rally was interrupted by the Tinkerer, who is the leader of the underground. She really dislikes Mega Douche and his company and calls them out for being killers and says that the underground are gonna stop them. Now, being radical activists, there was only one thing they could do. Blow up a fucking bridge. Now, if I'm being completely honest with you, it's never a true Spider-Man story if we don't fight on a bridge. And once we arrive, we find out that all the underground want to do is steal the new form. But we weren't going to let that happen. So we play some tug of war with the Tinkerer and oh shit, it's Finn. <sighs> My back! Finn, aka the Tinkerer, is able to get away with the new form, leaving us a horde of enemies to beat up, which is always a good time because the combat in this game is pretty sick. But there is still that underlying issue with the fact that they kind of just blew up the bridge. So we had to fix that, which would also get us our next story related trophy. We then cooked up a new suit design with Ganki, but the upgrades don't stop here, as we also decided to purchase our first visor mod, which got us our next trophy. Because we just 
found out that our best friend is kind of a terrorist supervillain, we decided to do some investigating. So we headed to Finn's family's old shop, where we discovered that her brother Rick got sick from working on new form at Roxxon, and that they were working undercover to shut the whole operation down. But apparently, something bad happened, and to find the answer to what that was, we have to track down Finn's phone, which she lost inside Roxxon's HQ. So we snuck inside, where we were ambushed by the Prowler, aka Uncle A.A. Ron who reluctantly agrees to help us track down Finn's phone. The best part about this is that we finally get to beat up the Roxxon guys, which is great because I can't stand them. And I know that Spider-Man doesn't kill anyone, but he sure likes to leave guys with severe fucking brain trauma because holy shit, this guy is gonna have to drink out of a straw for the rest of his days. Anyway, we find Finn's phone, which has a video of her brother Rick being disintegrated into atoms. And well, it was Megadouche's fault because he sort of trapped him in there when he was trying to shut down the reactor. So we decided to finish his work, shut down the reactor ourselves, and destroy the only evidence of Rick's murder, which uh, isn't ideal. We end up escaping thanks to the help of Uncle A.A. Ron, getting us our next trophy. The core of the problem. Very nice. Before we continue with the main story, we decide to do some open world exploration because a ton of the trophies we need require us to track down certain collectibles and complete a bunch of tasks around New York City. One of these being the different challenges that Pete has left behind for us to complete. We could get ourselves three new trophies if we manage to get spectacular or better on the three different challenges. Come on. Hey, there we go. Launch, swing and dive. Dodging light. Very nice. There we go, punching pixels. We then met up with Finn for a coffee and let her know that we found out about Rick and pretty much asked to join the underground. And because she had no clue at this point that we were Spider-Man, she was like, fuck it, why not? And next thing you know, we are jumping off cranes into the underground secret hideout. Whilst here, we were in search of the new form that Finn stole. And after some investigative work, we found out that it was stored downstairs. So we changed into our suit and made our way into a giant training session for the underground. Here we made sure that several guys would never be able to have children and gave a bunch more severe brain hemorrhaging. After clearing the room, we snuck down into the secret basement where we found out that they had moved the new form to a different location. But this wasn't an entire waste of time as we got another trophy. We made it to the location where the new form was moved and inside we found out Finn's plan. She's going to use it to blow up Roxxon Plaza, which is totally not cool. But you know what? is cool life ending concussions we go to grab the new form and out of nowhere finn rocks up takes it and runs away which leads to a pretty epic chase sequence through the streets of new york and just as we caught up to her she pulls out a reverse uno card and beats the shit out of us and to save our skin we have to reveal to her our true identity she then vanishes like batman and we get our next trophy there we go Velocity skates that was intense but we gotta keep moving. Next, we decided to track down the remainder of the time capsules, which are one of the main collectibles in the game. Whilst doing this, we made our way over to this small derelict boat. I'm on a boat. There we go. I'm on a boat, apparently. And soon enough, we were able to track down the final capsule needed to get the trophy. We then met up with Uncle A.A. Ron to help us clear our head. And even though he is a super villain, it's great to know we have someone who will always have our back. <sighs> Yeah, he sold us out. And of course, it was none other than Mega Douche behind it all. God, he actually has the most punchable face I've ever seen. Anyway, we are able to break free, which means we are back to beating up Roxxon goons, which never gets old. And whilst we were stealthing our way through Roxxon enemies, we managed to get our 100th stealth takedown. We eventually make it into Mega Douche's lap, where we hack into his hard drive, which definitely had more than just failed safety reports on it. But of course, we were interrupted by Rhino, who has got some new Roxxon designed armor, which makes him, well, I'll, I'll let him explain. Immune to your little zappy pops. Zappy pops? Come on, man. It may be immune to bioelectricity, but it definitely isn't immune to 60 ton tanks, which so happen to be decorating this very room. We are slowly able to break down his new armor and eventually take him out. There we go. 
exploding bulldozer. Things were looking good, but then shit went south when Rhino hit a nerve by heckling Finn about her dead brother. And they say the more you fuck around, the more you will find out. And Russian Shaq may have bit off a bit more than he could chew, as he ended up with a blade cemented balls deep into his chest. We then tackle Finn and proceed to get our head beaten in, with a stern warning that if we go near her again, she will kill us. Ooh. You're hard. Next, we decided to blow off some steam by taking out the different underground hideouts around the city. We would also get another trophy if we managed to clear one of these hideouts undetected. Hey, never saw it coming. There we go. Did that first try. That was pretty easy. There were only three of these hideouts, and after taking out the final one, we would get the Underground Undone trophy. We also decided to start working on some of the side missions in the game, with one revolving around cracking a mysterious crime conspiracy in Harlem, where gangs have been targeting and robbing local businesses, even going as far as stealing a cat. During these side missions, we also managed to defeat our 50th enemy whilst camouflaged netting us a trophy. We were able to slowly piece by piece the identity of the criminal mastermind behind it all, who was revealed to be none other than Kingpin, who had been pulling the strings from prison. And honestly, I really hope that they do more of this sort of stuff in Spider-Man 2, where they give, you know, a specific villain their own side quest, and we have to slowly unveil and solve who it is. I think it's a great way to just tie in different villains into the overarching story, and I'd so be down to see more of that. Anyway, back on track, we ended up shutting down Willie's crime spree and after we rizzed up this deaf girl Haley, we would get our next trophy. There we go, come at the king. Around this time, we also got a trophy for crafting 10 gadget upgrades. So it was time to finally confront Finn, but that was delayed as Uncle A. Aaron decided to kidnap us. And even though he did do it just to protect us, we weren't having a bar of it. Come out, boy! You done messed up, A.A. Hey, Ron! Family drama. There we go. All right, now it is finally time to track down Finn, which led us to the Oscorp Science Center, where we got put into a flashback sequence. And here we could get one of the two missable trophies for beating Finn at a rocket minigame. After the flashback, we were about to get our hands on the new form until Finn rocked up and took it. The only problem is that she doesn't know that if she blows it up, it's kind of going to destroy Harlem, which isn't ideal. But at least we got a trophy. Whilst here, we also managed to defeat our 50th enemy using remote mine gadgets. Hey, trapped. There we go. I think that's for using 50 remote mines. Very nice. So we follow her, which leads us to a massive shootout on the streets and rooftops, where both Roxon and the underground are gunning it out. And we just rocked up and beat up literally everyone. And during this, we got a trophy for performing a venom jump and dash at the same time. We eventually catch up to Finn, whilst Uncle A. Aaron gets his moment of redemption. And here we enter the final boss battle of the entire game against the Tinkerer. And let's just say I encountered a few uh, interesting animations during this fight what the fuck wait, wait, what what the hell just happened what was that oh my god what is this look at me i'm in the ground what the fuck what and soon enough we were able to defeat finn who realizes a little too late that she may have miscalculated her plan but just as the reactor was starting to blow we absorb its energy but we can't hold it in for long. So in a final sacrificial act, Finn takes us and jumps into the sky where we can release the energy a safe distance from the city, killing her in the process. And that wraps up the main story, which was short but good. Megadouche got locked up, which is a huge win, but we aren't done, as we have a bit of cleanup to do to get the remaining trophies. We first tracked down the remainder of the sound samples that Uncle A. Aaron tasked us with collecting. There we go, deep cuts. That's the last sound sample we needed. We were also able to collect various different postcards after the main story that Miles' dad had left behind for him. There we go, memory lane. Man, that was that was touching, that one. That was a touching trophy. There were also two more trophies that we could get for completing the rest of Pete's training challenges. They were all pretty easy, except the final stealth challenge, which was a bit of a pain, I'm not going to lie. Disarm bomb, come on. 
There we go. I got spectacular. Let's go. And spider training complete. There we go. We've done them all finally. But we weren't done because completing all these challenges unlocks one final super challenge where we had to fight Pete's first villain, the Vulture, which was actually more comedic than difficult. Nonetheless, we completed the final test, getting us another trophy. Next, we decided to tackle the rest of the FNSM Apra quests, where we had to do a bunch of really small side missions, which included finding a lost cat, helping Howard with his fucking lost pigeons. I swear to God, this guy is not fit to have pets. Anyway, the final request that we needed to complete involved us tracking down some stolen toys. And this led us to a shipping yard where we would find Joe, an absolute criminal mastermind who is selling these in-demand stolen Spidey toys for 60 grand. Anyway, we take out all the goons, including Brutus here, which completed this request. But apparently this wasn't the final request, as we had one last one, which was just us receiving a gift from the community. Five star review. That's for completing all the app requests. Whilst on the subject of using the FNSM app, we could also scroll all the way to the bottom of our social feed to get another trophy. Just like we had to take out all the underground bases, we also had to shut down all the rocks on labs. And whilst doing that, we also found our final underground cache. There we go, Salvager. That was the final underground cache that we needed. Under their noses, that's the last rocks on lab. Completing the labs also unlocked a side mission where we could find Finn's workshop. This also turned out to be the final side mission that we needed to 100% complete all districts in the game. We then started to work on getting 25 wall and ceiling takedowns, and the rocks on labs were the perfect place to get these done. So we just went back and replayed them a few more times to get our trophies. Hey, there it is from the rafters. 25 ceiling takedowns. It took a while, but we got there. Now we got to do the wall ones. I can smell you. There it is. Climbing the walls, 25 wall takedowns. Next, we completed all the bonus objectives for the different crimes around the city. We also tried going for the 100x combo during some of these crimes, and we kept on failing. But we did end up getting a trophy for taking out 100 enemies using venom attacks. Oh, fuck you, man. Oh man, that pisses me off. Overcharge, whatever, we take it. We got overcharge. Even though I stuffed up the combo, we got another trophy. We also managed to get another trophy for throwing an enemy into a group of three. And after failing to get the combo a couple more times, we decided that it was best to just give it a crack in New Game Plus, which we also have to complete to get another trophy. And I figured that the perfect spot for me to get the 100 times combo was on the blown up bridge, as here we could just fight hordes of underground enemies enemies. We did fail a couple of times, but eventually we managed to get it done. Come on. Three more. Three more. Three more. Come on. There it is. 100x combo. Let's go. Oh, man. There were also a few other trophies that we could now unlock being in New Game Plus, like the one for unlocking all skills, unlocking all suits in the game, and of course, the trophy for beating New Game Plus itself. After applying a sticker in photo mode, there were only two more trophies left until we got ourselves the platinum. And I purposefully saved these two for last, as they both involve paying tribute to two very important people. Firstly, being Miles' old man. Never back down, never what? Never give up! Let's run it! Let's go! Alright, one last trophy. Then we got the platinum baby. We saved a good one for last. There it is. The man who's responsible for all of this. Stan Lee. There we go. Best fries in town. And now we should get the plat. Be yourself. There we go. Spider-Man Miles Morales' platinum trophy. Make sure you leave a like down below if you want to see me platinum the Spider-Man 2018 game remastered. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And as always, guys, take care.